A new gym in Thienesville offers personal training, group classes, nutrition, coaching, but this is not your typical high-end health center. It's a health center for individuals with disabilities, and the young woman who created it is still in high school. She's this week's everyday hero. And we go down and jump out. We shimmy it down. Alana Dvorkin has been dancing her whole life. Now the 17-year-old is teaching her skills to others. Hit, clap, clap. Do you kind of do the choreography and everything? I do, yeah. I pick out the songs, the choreography. But Dvorkin didn't just choreograph this routine. Oh yeah, rock it. She came up with the entire concept for All Star Health Center. So you are a founder and a teacher, but you're also a high school student. Yeah, I am. Where do you go to high school? I go to Homestead, which is just down the road. Are we going to freestyle it? It's actually the struggles of high school that led to her success. I would say about junior year, I was struggling. I mean, it's just the high school, the drama, obviously, and I needed that outlet, and I really didn't have it. So, so she started volunteering. Oh, did you come up to me, or did I come up to you? I come to you. Oh. And that's when she met Emily. We just clicked. I mean, I was with her for five minutes, and she said to me, when are you coming over? Oh, yeah! yeah! Emily is a 10-year-old with Down syndrome. <laughs> Dvorkin felt Emily didn't have enough options when it came to exercise. Your turn. So she turned to her family and asked to organize a gym for individuals with disabilities. Yeah. They too want to feel welcomed and they have the same needs that we do. Her brother Brian helped co-found All Star. We're trying to add more classes and keep up with the demand. Um, so it's just really, really rewarding. Emily, you're so lucky. I've never used one of those. Dad Greg right. making it all possible. Okay. He gave us our wings for sure. Oh, okay. Which one are we going to call? Um, three, five, six, and seven. Ready? Okay. In creating a space where everyone is accepted, Dworkin says Emily helped her learn to accept herself. Two. So she, in a way, has helped me grow because I felt that I've had more self-love and that's something I've been working towards because of her. The All-Star Health Center offers a wide range of activities and personal training. We have more information at CBS58.com. And if you'd like to nominate someone for Natalie's Everyday Heroes, just send me a message. Natalie, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like a really nice gym. It was really nice. The facility was beautiful and it really was a family effort. Everyone in her family pitched in and they're all contributing in some way. So it was really neat and all of the kids who were there were having a great time. Uh, all Star, were they playing uh, some Smash Mouth like you know, the 90s? That was one of the songs that they had choreographed a dance to. So let that get stuck in your head. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the Green Bay Packers trying to